And I would advise you to not only be physical in the sense of going out and doing physically challenging things, developing your body, working your body, doing it in the company of men you respect, okay? But I want you to fuck, okay? Now, you're all going, well, Mark, actually, I would like to fuck, okay? I would like to fuck more. I would like to fuck better. I would like to fuck differently. I would like to fuck as a matter of choice instead of happenstance. I don't care how you got there, okay? It doesn't have to be misright, but it should be misright now, okay? And just go ahead and fuck like you're an animal. There's plenty of opportunity. I'm not arguing against making love, okay? That, that mystical union between the male and the female, the powerful emotional bonding. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Do that with the right people. And in the meantime, fuck the rest, <laughs> Seriously, you were given this for a reason. You should have healthy intellectual curiosity about where would this fit, you know? Yeah, it's like, huh, okay. And if I were to, what would this feel like, right? What can I do to satisfy her desires, her cravings, right, her needs? I hear this all in the therapy room. I mean, wives would come in and go, why won't he just shut up and fuck me? Okay, because women do like love. They do like emotions. They like drama. Okay, but they need to be fucked too. And ladies, if you were to find a guy who knew what he was doing, he's relaxed, confident. He's not a dick, but he has one. Okay, and he just rocks you, rings your chimes. Okay, okay. How do you tend to feel about that guy? He may not be Mr. Right, but you kind of look favorably upon him, right? He may go in the insurance date category, right? Booty call. I love that concept. Mark, it's 2 a.m. I'm kind of drunk. I'm horny. I'll be right there. (laughs) Right? She's right. I don't care what I'm doing at the moment. It becomes inconsequential. Because I serve humanity, you know? (laughs) I'm giving of myself. It's true.